Okay. All right, Hayes, talk to us a little bit about how practice has been going this spring and specifically how, how you felt about the scrimmage and how today went. Oh, uh, it's going real good. You know, Matt Barkley and that uh, great offensive line and d Flow stepping in and Marquise Lee, they're all showing us great looks and getting our defense better. You know, we're still young. We're still taking baby steps, but we're getting better each day. Last week, Lane said that the offense was closing the gap a little bit on the defense and that – or other way around, the defense is closing the gap a little bit in the offense. You guys are really starting to be able to hold your own uh, against the high-powered offense. What do you think has uh, been a bit been the, the cause of that? Uh, you know, every day both sides are getting better. Uh, Matt Barkley, Cody Kessler, Max, they're all getting better. They're all becoming great quarterbacks, and the offensive line is starting to read defenses, and, you know, it's kind of tough. we got to be able to disguise it and uh, go in there knowing our stuff. This year, with the bar set as high as it is and a BCS game kind of in the sights, at least for outsiders and what expectations they've put on you guys, how has that changed how you, you've prepared individually and how you guys are preparing as a team? Uh, you know, Coach Kiff uh, tells us every day to stay humble. You know, the uh, peak performers go out and win each practice day. Uh, when the games come, we got to win game by game and then win championships by championships. And that's our main motivation is win day by day and not look towards the future. You're looking a little bigger this spring. Have you put on weight? What, what do you got right now? Uh, I jumped up to 230, uh, getting faster and stronger day by day with a uh, double A and the rest of the strength conditions that have given me way better. So even with the increased weight, you, you've kept you able to maintain the speed? Yeah, they, they've gotten me even faster now. So wow. it, it's real good now. That's great. So now you and uh, you and Dion shared the team leading tackles last year, right? So you guys got a friendly little competition going on. Have you decided who's uh, you're the front runner this year or is he? And what, how does that competition with him happen in practice and uh, you, make you each other better? You know, same old, same old. We, we both try and compete uh, towards each other because we both want to be great linebackers uh, on and off the field in the schoolwork. So it's a kind of all-around thing. Who wants to be the strongest, the fastest, and the most uh, athletic uh, player on the field. So it's going day by day right now. So even as a sophomore with the success that you've had, you're already kind of a leader on the defense, and you got some of the young linebackers like Scott Starr and Anthony and stuff like that. How are they coming along, and how what what role do you feel as a leader and an experienced player on the defense? Uh, it's great having the young guys. You know, when I was a young guy with Shane Horton and Chris Gallipo, they took me under their wing and taught me everything I knew. So basically, that's what me, Lamar, even TJ and Dion is just keeping them under our wing. Because if we say we do go down, knock, knock on wood, they do have to step in and be ones. They, they they're not really twos. They're only twos on a, de- on a piece of board, basically. Mm-hmm. So when they're ones, they're always on the field. So, I mean, I take them under my wing, you know, teach them things that I know. Great. Thanks a lot.